you've got an electric car, you need to get one of these. Smart meter. And I'll tell you why. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see, see. It, it looks something like this. Got yourself an electric car and two things will happen. One, your fuel bill is obviously go down because you're not spending money on petrol or diesel, but your electricity bill will go up. So you need to get yourself one of these. Getting a smart meter on its own won't actually save you a penny not a thing. You've got to use it like a tool. It is a tool. Just like if you buy a hammer or a drill it won't put a picture up unless you actually use it. So a smart meter won't actually save you a penny unless you use it. So for us in the southwest we are paying 15 pence per kilowatt during the day. Which is good at the moment because that is one of the cheapest prices certainly I could find but during the night for four hours so between half past twelve and half past four you're only having to pay 5p per kilowatt so that's a lot cheaper so what you also end up doing is putting the dishwasher on the washing machine and anything else you can on a timer so it comes on during the night between those four hours. What I do is I put the start the car charging at half past twelve and then just let it finish when it finishes. Because what you find is that it'll start off charging at seven and a half kilowatts or seven kilowatts and then during those four hours the as the battery fills it will take less and less and less so the that it will drop off so by the time it gets to half past four, half past five, six o'clock, it's right at the end of its charge. A kettle will use three or four kilowatts of electricity. A shower will use seven kilowatts of electricity. But all those things are only on for a relatively short period of time. A kettle that uses three kilowatts will only be on for two or three minutes and a shower which will use six seven kilowatts will only be on for 10 20 minutes depending on how long your shower is but an electric car charging at home will charge will start charging at seven kilowatts and can and just continually charge obviously if you've got a, one with a big battery it will charge for hours at that rate so it stands to reason the electricity bill is going to go quite expensive. So you need to be on the best tariff possible. And that's where this comes in. If you swap to a tariff that's like the Octopus Go tariff, you're going to be on, you'll be able to charge for four hours every night for 5p a kilowatt. It depends how big a battery you have and how many miles you travel per day. So if you're only doing say 10-20 miles a day you're not going to be emptying your battery every day so you're not going to be needing to refill it every day. But if you've only got a four hour window to charge really cheaply you can do you charge it every day and just keep topping up what you use. Now what Octopus do is if you haven't got a smart meter they will come and install one for you. They will, they will get a meter reading every half an hour and then you get a bill that is itemized per half an hour. So you can actually see what electricity you're using. Now 
you may already have a smart meter feed. Well, if you do, and it's made by Secure, then the chances are they can read your meter already. So you haven't got to have a new meter. So even if it's a first generation smart meter, you don't have to have it replaced. You can carry on using, even if it wasn't them who installed it, like this one was installed by Eon. I think you can see it on the back, Eon. And I think there are a couple of other companies who use them too. If you've got one of these, it'll be made by Secure and they can read all the secure meters. So you can keep the smart meter you've got. Now if you have got a smart meter and it's made by somebody else other than secure, then you will have to have a new smart meter fitted, which they can do for you. If you're interested in the Octopus Go tariff, I'll put a link in the show notes. And if you end up joining or being one of our customers, you'll get a £50 credit on your on your first bill. So although the smart meter had a lot of bad press, even though it's a generation one smart meter, and a lot of companies are saying, well, if you change from one company to another, we can't read your smart meter. Well, that's not the case. If you've got a secure one, the chances are that other companies can read them too, as long as they fit the same smart meters. So any companies that deal with that company can read your smart meter. That's why Octopus can read your meter because they already deal with the secure company and can access the information. So these little things can save you a fortune. But the best thing to do is shop around and make sure you're on the best tariff possible. Just like people do shopping around for the best price of petrol or diesel. You shop around for the best tariff because once you get an electric car or now you've got an electric car your electricity bills will have gone up now what you're interested in is the price per kilowatt the standing daily charge it does affect the overall price but it's minimal compared to what you're paying per kilowatt so don't look at what the averages or their comparison price you need to look at exactly how much you're paying per kilowatt we were looking to change this year I, I did a spreadsheet but that's just me so I could find out exactly who was charging what per kilowatt so these little things are really good you can see exactly how much electricity you're using so you can see from that I'm we're using uh, just over a kilowatt at the moment you can see how much you've used the total during the day how much you've used through the week how much you've used for the month um, and you can see exactly how much you're paying for it because it tells you on the on the on the different screens how much you're paying if you do have a smart meter and you don't want to use it you could try this it might save you a few pennies I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook and Instagram. See you on the next one.